All right, so I'm here uh, with Rob at the Cirque booth, and you know, Rob's going to be showing a product here. I've actually seen this product once before. I thought it was really cool. It's been out for a while now, maybe. Has it been out for a year, Rob? Or, uh, About a year and a half, two years. So it's been, um, had some product testing now and stuff done on it. It's called BR Codes, and so I think it's something pretty cool. So, Rob, why don't you explain to us what a BR code actually is, and um, it's a product from Surtape, So Okay, thank you very much. This is actually an example of a BR code. It's much like a QR code or a barcode, but it's made to be used primarily and solely with the BitRip app. The BitRip app is part and parcel to a complete system in which you utilize the code along with the app itself. And what you can do is you can track progress of jobs. You can also use it to track maintenance. You can track any type of product that you have anywhere in your system. I'm gonna open up the app and I've already pre-created a couple of bits here that are going to be tied to rooms in a house. When I go into the master bath, what I'm seeing here is you'll see some assets that are connected to this actual code. So here I might have touch up paint on the, on the door trim. And I capture that and I save it. Now, while I'm doing that, it would be smart to actually go in and put door trim before. And I have a blemish on here and now it's captured. So when the owner of the company sends one of his techs out to make the repair, he doesn't just say, fix the door jam and leave it at that, he's actually able to take a picture of where the blemish is. The tech afterwards is going to take another picture to show that the work has been done. He's also going to go into the note and put his name beside the actual task. Now you know the task has been done, you know who did it, and you have a picture of what it looks like when you're finished. Anytime the bit is accessed, I can review the bit log. It tells me who's been doing what in the bit. So I know when it was created, I know who went in and scanned the bit, and then I know from a time step perspective where they were at, when they did it, and how long it took them to do the work because when they leave, they can scan the bit again or scan the BR code one more time. When they do that, that will give them another timestamp that tells you how long they were there and how much work was done. So each one of these BR codes is completely different. Completely different and unique. Now, taking that a step farther, I can go in and go into projects. Projects allow me to take any number of bits and put them in one place. So the name of this project is 123 Main Street. Now, when I click on that, you'll see that I've named each of these something unique. 123M, I'm using the numbers off of the address and I'm using the first letter out of the street name. And then I'm saying which room it's actually in. So that gives me a way to uniquely identify it because I cannot have anything named with the same name. It's all gotta be unique. But now I can go in and not only look at these as a group, but I can also go in and look at these and add people to the project. Because as the creator of it, I don't wanna be the only person who has access to this information because I need for my technicians who are going out to the job site to be able to do the work and then be able to report back what was done. So this, so this represents a bit right here. That That's a BR code that when you scan it, it becomes, for example, I'm gonna actually use this one because I've actually already turned this into something. So when I scan this, it brings up 123M second bedroom. Right. So if I scan the middle one, it's gonna bring up the bath. If I scan the other one, it's gonna bring up the master bedroom. And so once I'm done with that project, I'm just gonna remove this BR code oh, and toss it. So you don't wanna reuse it? No. Okay. No. And for this particular application, what we've been using are the permanent labels, and that's really more of an industrial grade application. So for residential and commercial, we would recommend that you use the masking tape version because now you can just put the masking tape version up there and then peel it off and not worry about paint coming so off. So the commercial version, it's, it's meant to stay there for long term. You would put the commercial version, like this permanent one, on a forklift. 
because you're going to leave it on the forklift for the life of the forklift. Okay, so I can track that forklift, the maintenance, everything. On everything. That Here, you just need it up for as long as it takes you to complete the punch list, which is not going to be very long. So if I want to track um, power tools, I can add one to a power tool. You could do that as well. Maybe a vehicle, painting vehicles? Well, I'll use my own vehicle as an example. So this is the vehicle that I use for work. One of the first things I did was I just put in what it is, the VIN number, the tires that are on it, my owner's manual, my maintenance manual. I downloaded from my insurance company, my insurance card. So the owner of a company could do all those things and have all that information in one place. You could, if for some reason, let's say you were able to say, you know, every six months we're taking our vehicles in to be preventive maintenance, get the oil changed and everything that goes with it. What will happen is you can come in here, your phone's calendar will integrate with the system and allow you to set up a repeat and an alert. So if every six months I'm going to have something done to my vehicles, I don't want to know day of, I want to have two weeks so I can plan accordingly because I might have another vehicle that comes up and needs to be maintained. This gives you a sense of proof as to all the maintenance that you've done to uh, it. Definitely seems like it uh, makes sense for, you know, if you got a fleet of vehicles for painters or if you got a fleet of sprayers. So you can, same type of thing for the sprayer too, so. Another question that comes up is, okay, well, what happens if somebody pulled this off and we weren't finished with it? What do I do? You know what the address is so you can narrow down where you're at. Start typing in that particular individual code name. And as you're doing that, the list of options is going to shrink so that you end up getting down to the actual code itself. As long as I know the name of it, I can open it up that way. And then I hit the link code duplicate bit. I hit copy bit. And then I come in here, maybe go ahead and stick it to the wall. And then when I hit that button, it's going to replace everything that was on the one that was taken. It's now going to be replaced with all that information so that you don't lose anything. They could take the code off of it, set it on fire, but it wouldn't change anything that was on the right. app itself. So you're never without the information. Right. So that app, is it, it's downloadable from the Apple App Store? I, I Apple assume. and Android. It goes Apple by the name BitRip, Bit and Rip. it will look... That's what the icon so will look like. B I T R I P. Okay. Exactly. Just like that. Yeah. And SureTape makes the labels, and we work with a company named BitRip, who's responsible for both the app and there is an optional software package for people who get into managing hundreds and hundreds of these bits. Right. See, so you're doing a kitchen cabinet job. You can attach it to the inside of a cabinet drawer. It's going to stay there for a long period of time. You can access that, you know, down the road. Even coming back, doing, you know, touch up. Say the customer calls you uh, three years later. They want you to do touch ups. You, if you install that VR code in the same place every single time inside of a kitchen cabinet drawer or door, you can go like scan that code. It's going to bring the cabinet job up. They'll tell you what you use and um, the product you use, everything, all the information about it. So I think it's a pretty cool app. It's a SureTape product. Where can you buy it from? You can buy it through any uh, SureTape authorized distributor. Yeah, I mean, people might not be familiar with SureTape. So uh, what are some of the major brands that they sell? Uh, duct tape and frog tape. Frog tape. Those are so the I'm two very familiar major with frog ones. Tape. So all the frog tape products, green, yellow, blue, orange. If you can um, find frog tape, you know, at your local paint store, they're probably going to be able to get VR goats for you. They can. Thank you very much for the demonstration. Thank Bob. you very Appreciate much. It. Pleasure.